Hi, everybody. We are going to read a new book called Piggy Pie this week. As I read, I'm going to ask you some questions. You're going to stop the video and make sure that you turn and talk or raise your hand and let the teacher know what you're thinking. Are you ready? Let's get started. Piggy Pie. Gritch the witch woke up grouchy, grumpy, and very hungry. Her belly grumbled for something delicious, something delightful, something special. But what? It wasn't purple mouse tail stew. No, she ate that yesterday for lunch. Maybe some mashed dragon tongue pudding? No, Gritch wasn't in the mood for anything quite that sweet. Perhaps a taste of boiled black buzzard feet? No, that always made her mouth water. Not today. Today, Gritch wanted something truly tasty, something really special, something really yummy. And that could only mean... Piggy pie. Yes, yes, piggy pie. I can taste those plump, juicy pink piggies right now, Gritch said, smacking her lips. She hurried to the pantry and pulled down her old hag cookbook from the top shelf. She picked off a spider, blew off the dust, and turned to the secret recipe on page 342. Gritch ran her bony finger with the long green nail down the list of ingredients. One, eye of the fly. She checked the pantry shelves. No problem, said Gritch. Two shakes of a rattlesnake's tail. No problem, said Gritch. Three belly hairs of a possum. No problem, said Gritch. Eight plump piggies. <gasps> problem! Okay, I want you to stop for a second. I want you to turn and talk or raise your hand and tell your teacher how is Gritch feeling right now as she's screaming and she's pulling her hair out. How does she feel? When you're ready, you can hit play. Problem, screeched Gritch. I don't have any piggies. How can I make piggy pie without even one puny pink pig? Gritch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She paced the floor. She wanted piggy pie. She wanted piggy pie very much. Hmm, she said, tapping her the lucky wart on her chin. Now, where do you find eight plump piggies? Okay, I want you to stop and I want you to think. Where could Gritch find a pig? Make a prediction. Raise your hand and tell your teacher, where do you think she might find some piggies? When you're ready, you can hit play. Gritch thought and thought and thought. Aha! She shouted with a jump. The circus. Yes, yes, the circus. The circus? No, not the circus. You don't find any pigs in the circus, she thought harder. Aha! She shouted with a jump. The zoo. Yes, the zoo. No, you don't find any pigs in the zoo. The farm? Yeah, the farm. You can find pigs on a farm. There was still one teeny tiny little problem. Where do you find a farm? Well, where else? Gritch let her bony finger do the walking and opened the yellow page book to F, where she found a very large ad. That was it. Let's look at the ad. Old MacDonald's Farm, called E-I-E-I-O, just over the river and through the woods. We have ducks, chickens, and pigs. Let's see what happens next. Gritch put her broomstick in gear and headed over the river and through the woods to Old MacDonald's farm. I've got you in my sights now, you little porker, she cackled. <laughs> she circled overhead. Okay, do you guys think her feelings changed at all, right? She was really frustrated and upset, and now she's cackling, and she said, I've got you, my little porkers. Can you raise your hand and tell me or your teacher, how is she feeling right now? When you're ready, you can hit play. Okay, now I want you to look at this picture, okay? And I want you to see the piggies and I want you to kind of see what you think they're doing. When you look at the picture, I want you to turn and talk with your buddy. What do you think the piggies are doing right now and why? When you're ready, you can hit play. Okay, so you should have noticed the piggies are looking like they're dressing up as other animals, right? They look like they're dressing up as pigs and sheep and chickens. I wonder why they're doing that. Let's find out. Gritch zoomed in for a thump, 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 screech landing. She spit straw, fanned her smoking tootsies, and lifted her goggles. 
Where did they all go? Grit shouted to a duck. Hey, duck, I said, where are all the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for my piggy pie. The duck quack quacked here, it quack quacked there, here it quacked, there it quacked, everywhere it quack quacked. No piggies. Look at these smart piggies. Does Gritch know that they're not piggies? She thinks they're ducks, so let's see what happens next. What do you mean no piggies, you dizzy duck? Gritch screeched into his bill. I just saw a passel of piggies down here not a minute ago. Hand over those hogs, you little quacker. No piggies, quacked the duck. Gritch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened the duck with one of her most evil spells. The duck was not impressed. It wasn't even scared. It gave Gritch another quack and waddled away. So who needs a dumb duck, Gritch mumbled. Okay, so she was feeling frustrated. Then she was excited to find the pigs. How is Gritch feeling now? I want you to raise your hand and tell your teacher. And then when you're done, you can hit play to find out what happened next. Being careful where she stepped, Gritch wandered across the meadow. Yoo-hoo, she shouted. Moo. You, Gritch said to the cow, where are the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. The cow moo-mooed here, it moo-mooed there, here it moved, there it moved, everywhere it moo-mooed. No piggies. Do you guys see the piggies hiding inside the cow? Those are some smart piggies, I think, right? Very clever. Oh boy. What do you mean no piggies, you lumpy looking cow, screamed Gritch. I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. Fork over the pork, you walking milk machine, or I'll curdle your cream. No piggies, mooed the cow. Gritch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened the cow with one of her most evil spells. The cow stared at Gritch, swatted a fly with its tail, and lumbered away. Cows, who needs them, Gritch muttered. I'm sure you guys use words like angry and upset and frustrated. I think she's pretty mad still, don't you think? Let's see what happens next. So she tried the barnyard where they stopped a chicken in its tracks. Okay, bird brain, where are the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for piggy pie. The chicken cluck clucked here, it cluck clucked there, here it clucked, there it clucked, everywhere it cluck clucked. No piggies. All right, I want you to raise your hand and tell your teacher, how do you think Gritch is going to react? Is she going to be happy? Is she going to be angry? What do you think she's going to do next? When you're ready to go, you can hit play. What do you mean no piggies, you feathered drumstick, Gritch screech? What's going on here? Where's the boss of this heap of hay? The chicken flapped a wing toward old McDonald's. Did you guess right or did you predict right? Was she angry? Yeah. So let's see what happens next. Do you think there's going to be a real old McDonald's or do you think it'll be a piggy old McDonald's? Let's see. Gritch looked him over twice. Once, twice. Your old McDonald's, she said, don't look much like your picture, do you? The farmer thumbed his suspenders and shrugged. Look, shorty, I've been quack quacked here, moo mooed there, and cluck clucked everywhere all over this farm. I need eight plump piggies for my piggy pie. Where are those piggies? The farmer looked here. He looked there, here he looked, there he looked, everywhere he looked, look, no piggies. What do you mean no piggies, you flea-bitten seed spreader? You must have the piggies. Gritch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. She even threatened him with one of her most evil spells. No piggies. Her stomach growled. It grumbled. There were no piggies. There would be no piggy pie. Now what was she going to eat? It said her stomach growled. What do you think that means? I want you to pause and turn and talk with a friend. What does it mean when your stomach growls and how is she feeling right now? When you're ready, you can hit play. Okay, just to show you guys the picture. So she is yelling at old McDonald's and she is hungry, right? Her stomach's going, it's growling. What do you think she might do next? Let's find out. Psst, psst, excuse me, little lady. Wolf's the name. Let me give you some advice. Forget about the pigs. Forget about the pigs, said the Gritch, eyeing the wolf. He nodded. They're too tricky, trust me. I've been chasing three little pigs for days. He huffed and he puffed. I'm starving. Look at me. I'm nothing but skin and bones. So look who just showed up, the wolf. I'm thinking he might be the wolf from the three little pigs and they're both looking for piggies. Let's see what happens next. Gritch pinched his arm. Well, not quite, she grinned. Mr. Wolf, I have the most wonderful idea. I was thinking, since you haven't eaten and I haven't eaten, 
Why don't you come home with me for lunch? I'm a very good cook. Why, that does sound tempting, said the wolf, as he looked at Gritch and smacked his lips. Are you sure it wouldn't be any problem? Problem, Gritch grinned. No problem at all, she said as they walked off arm in arm, always enjoying having a wolf for lunch. Now I want you to see how this book ended. Gritch is thinking about eating a wolf, and Wolf is thinking about eating a Gritch. What do you think could happen next? How's this story going to end? Turn and tell a partner. What do you think? When you're ready, you can hit play. All right, we're going to use our imagination to think what happens next because that's how the book ends. It kind of leaves us wanting more and leaves us thinking what might happen next. So what you're going to do now is you're going to do an activity with your class where you get to hide and kind of dress up some piggies to make them hide from a witch. Uh, use your imagination, have fun, and I'm so happy we got to read this book, Piggy Pie, together. Have an awesome week.